Hi, this is King of Review. Is there a point of intersection between the two graphs? y equals x minus 1 and y equals x squared minus x. One method for solving this problem is to use substitution. You can use substitution to solve for x algebraically. And if you get a real number for the x value, then you know that there is indeed a point of intersection between the two graphs. So let's do that. Let's use substitution. We have an equation for y, y equals x minus 1. Now let's substitute x minus 1 into the second equation for y, like this. Now we have x minus 1 equals x squared minus x. Now we want to get a 0 on one side of the equation. So let's move the x and the negative 1 over to the right hand side. So I'll subtract an x on both sides and I'll add a 1 on both sides. Now I have 0 equals x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now we want to factor this portion of our equation. One method for doing that is using a factorization box. I'll put my x squared term here and I'll put my constant term here. Which two terms multiply together to give x squared? Well, x times x multiply together to give x squared. And which two terms or numbers multiply together to give 1? One option is negative 1 times negative 1. Filling out the rest of the box, negative 1 times x is negative 1x, and x times negative 1 is negative 1x. If you add these two boxes together, negative 1x plus negative 1x, you get the negative 2x here. So we have 0 equals x minus 1 times x minus 1. Now let's consider the zero product property. If you have two numbers, let's call them a and b, and you multiply them together and you get zero, this means that either a or b must be zero to get zero for the answer. So you could have a times zero equals zero, or you could have zero times b equals zero. Applying this to our problem, if I set either one of these two terms equal to zero, I'll get this zero for the answer. So let's do that. Let's set each of these terms equal to zero. But since these terms are the same, x minus 1, I only have to do this step once. So x minus 1 equals zero. Now solve for x. I'll add a 1 on both sides, and I get x equals 1. Now 1 is a real number. Therefore, I know that there is a point of intersection between these two graphs. There's one point of intersection. Now, what does this x equals 1 represent? This represents the x-coordinate of the point of intersection. If we wanted to solve for the y-coordinate of the point of intersection, we could plug this x value into either one of these two equations and solve for y. So I'm going to choose the first equation, y equals x minus 1, and when I plug in a 1 for x, I have f of 1 equals 1 minus 1, which is 0. So I have a point of intersection at 1, 0. Thanks for watching.